Hi, this is Smith from PeakSource.com. In this tutorial, I will show you how to download using JDownloader. This method is applicable for Linux, Mac and Windows users. This tutorial deals with the following topics. How to download with JDownloader. How to add a premium account. How to add a cookie. How to use Link Grabber. How to use features like play, pause, resume, disable, enable etc. OK, let's start. JDownloader is a free download manager that simplifies downloading files from sites like RapidShare.com, FileSonic.com, etc. simultaneously using premium or free account. It allows file queuing, capture recognition, automated file extraction etc. So just queue the files you want to download, forget about it and continue your work. You can easily download JDownloader by following the link shown below. Just select your operating system by clicking on the name of OS. If you are a Windows user, select Offline Installer. Linux users have to select Download Installer. Mac users have to select DMG Installer. Click on the selected. JDownloader requires Java runtime environment. You can download it here. After the file is downloaded, install it. Select the language needed. After finishing installation, it may ask you to update. Do it for better performance. Now we are going to see how to download using JDownloader. Copy all the links you want to download. Now select the Link Grabber tab. Then click on the Add URL button and paste the link. Now you can see the details of the link you have pasted. Like file name, size, host, and status. If the status of the file is online, you can download it. Some hosting sites will remove the files due to violation of copyrights. In that case, the status of the file will be shown as offline. To start the downloading, you have to click on Continue with All button. Now you can see the links are queued and the downloading begins. If you are a premium user, your download will start instantly with resumable capability. I will show you how to add premium accounts later in this tutorial. If you are a free user, you have to do the same procedure when you download the same link from the appropriate sites. Capture recognition procedures are also supported by JDownloader. See this status, plugin, error. In this case you have to update JDownloader. Next we are going to discuss about how to add a premium account in JDownloader. Adding premium accounts in JDownloader is very simple. First, take the JDownloader window and click on premium menu. Ensure that you have checked the option enable premium globally. Then go to Premium Settings, click on it. Now you can see three buttons. One, for adding accounts. Two, for removing accounts. Three, for buying premium accounts. For adding the account details, select Add Account. Click on it. Then select the host. For example, if your host is filesonic.com, select Filesonic from the list. The list is pretty large. For selecting quickly, type FS. Then you can see filesonic.com listed there. Click to select. Now enter your username and password and click OK. Now you can see the host username, password, status of your account, expiry date and traffic left here. To enable premium accounts, click on the tick mark next to the host, or just click on the premium menu and click Enable Premium Globally. Sometimes you have to restart JDownloader to update a premium account. Now start downloading and you can have the privilege of a premium user, that is, you can pause, stop, and start whenever you need until your premium account expires.
downloader uses the facility of HJ split so that the split header files will be joined during extraction and this will be done automatically after the download is finished. I think that's one of the best features of JDownloader. Okay, let's see how to add a cookie in JDownloader. Adding cookies in JDownloader is almost similar to adding premium account. The difference is that you have to type cookie in the username field and paste the cookie code in the password field. Then click OK and you are done. This is Smith and thanks for watching this tutorial. If you like this video, click the like button. Feel free to comment. Subscribe to our channel for more valuable updates. You can also request for video tutorials. The requests should be sent to peaksource at gmail.com.